Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here at Disneyland Paris. It's been a few years since we've been here, so we're going to go check it out, check out some food. I can't wait, babe. Oh, yeah. Let's go inside. <laughs> and just like that, we're in. Let's go. And in case you're wondering, the music is the same as the Main Street in Anaheim. It is. Mm -hmm. So is we're going to go walk around. Do they play the same song at Walt Disney World in Orlando? Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, so far, the city hall, I know I can say for Disneyland, it's usually on that side, but it's on this side. It's always on that side oh, when you walk. Oh, it is on city hall. I'm just thinking of the theater, not city hall. Sorry. Okay, who's a big Stitch fan? This uh, is the Auntie stuff. Linda is she my sister. Is. But I think if we give her one more stitch thing, she'll probably shoot us. So, but this is really cute. I think I'll pick it up for Erin. Look at my sweatshirts. They're the really big oversized sweatshirts. Oh, yeah. And they have Anything the, on the back? And Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, oh, my gosh. Look at that. And it has Mickey Waves. I think this will keep me warm. What do you it think? It will, but I don't know if you'd wear it ever again, baby. <laughs> so let's go look around and see what else they have. Oh, and these ears are 25 euros? Uh-huh. 25 euros. Yeah. There you go. Looks like this is more new merchandise here. There's like a scarf here. There's a backpack, a red hoodie. He's looking for a hoodie. And yeah, really cute. Cute little Chippendale little decorations around as well. They have their own Disney McDonald's. They have the little characters on it. That's really cool. Yeah, look at that. You can see it. There's little mini. mini. Yep, there they are. Here's Coco, baby, your favorite. But it's a beautiful castle. It is. I've been wanting to do this. We usually don't ride rides when we go to the park, but we got to do this one. It's only a five minute wait, the Phantom Manor. Which is the Haunted Which Mansion. The Haunted Mansion. Right here. So far, this is pretty cool. It's all about the ride here in Phantom Manor. Um, what's really nice is the narration is in French and in English, so you can understand everything that goes on. Esprit des fantômes sur vos fiers destriers, escortés dans la nuit, la belle fiancée. The, the, the shutters open and everything. You gotta kind of look around the house because it's like the shutters are like shaking and oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah, That's this cool. this ride was they had a lot of similarities to the regular haunted mansion, yeah. but it was different enough to make it interesting. This one was kind of creepy. So, yeah, yeah, it had a lot of lot of horror stuff. In yeah, it. it did. It had like a lot of skeletons and stuff like that. Um, here, I think you you filmed some of it. I, it I tried just a to. Bit. Yeah, that that yeah. cart was kind of rocking around, but yeah, maybe just best. a little bit, but leave but leave a lot of it to your imagination, so you have to come over here and see it. Yes. Here's something that's not in our Disneyland. We have a steakhouse here, the Silver Spur. But we walk by one place over here that has fish and chips, and that looks really good too. So, one of these two places. We made it to the Lucky Nugget. It's equivalent to the Golden Horseshoe Review. Yes. Kind of. And so what you do is you come in, you order your food, which is really cool. 
and then you take your ticket after you order and then someone seats you and it seats you like around the stage there's no show but then the food is delivered to you yes so that's kind of cool and they serve meals they don't serve a la carte they serve meals so we got like I got like a burger with fries and a drink and a dessert yes and I got the fish and chips mm -hmm. so yeah we're Very just waiting now look at the size of this fish and chip here these are like the uh, the thicker kind of uh, fries over here. It, we we're kind of surprised. We we're just talking that we thought they would call them frites, but the cashier said fries. Call them fries here. But that is a huge piece. Uh, they didn't say what kind of fish it was. It could be a, a cod, haddock. I'm not sure what type of fish is popular here in this part of Europe. But we was about to find out. How's a fry? It tastes um, it tastes okay. Really? So far? So far, yeah. I'm having high hopes for the fish though. So show them that little condiment box over here. They have barbecue sauce, ketchup, but mayonnaise. They do not have tartar sauce. I guess it's not a thing here in France. I'm kind of surprised because they had tartar sauce like almost everywhere else. But they do give you a little slice of lemon. Let's hit it up with a little lemon here. With a couple seeds, those are bonuses. And uh, let me cut into this, see how it is. Beat it. I can tell it is nice and hot. I'm just gonna pick it up right here. Here we go, let's try it out. It's all the steam coming out of that. Hey, it's pretty good. Little sprig of lemon, huh? Yeah. The batter and the fish is nicely seasoned. Maybe a little bit of a sea salt or something on it, but it is very good. Very light crisp to it. I don't know what kind of fish it is. It's some kind of white cod type of fish. But it is delicious. And I'm hungry, so I have no problem. Uh, you know what? We're going to split it because I want half of that burger. This is a good sized burger. Look at that patty. Perfectly cooked. It does have cheese. There's no lettuce, but they do arugula. I am a fan of arugula. It has tomato in there. Let's go in for that bite. That arugula really comes out from this burger. And you know what? They have barbecue sauce on this barbecue oh, burger it is really good that kick of that that barbecue sauce with the arugula matches perfectly with this burger i cut it uneven i'm giving her the i'm giving him the biggest bigger half i should have taken the bigger half this is an excellent burger oh and then we hit it up with my fry regular fry it's good, fluffy in the inside, and she outside. Well, I don't believe they're seasoned, but it's just a regular good fry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got ketchup. Mm -hmm. You had a choice between vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. I have it with caramel in there. Look how beautiful that looks. And I got a share of Woody Star, oh, nice. chocolate star. Mm. It's a good star. Let's go ahead and try this out. I like it how it's mixed in there. It's like very pretty, huh, baby? There we go. Yeah, those sunnies are popular because I've seen a lot of people get those mm -hmm. over here. Mm. That's a really good caramel. It has little crunchy bits on top. This caramel is not like the ones you would get at home. It tastes like a, like a Toasted caramel with nuts. Oh, this is good. You're gonna like this one, babe. These were the two desserts I were offered that Sunday and the fruit cup. This one comes in almost like a like a drink. It, it looks like that what is it called? That that wine, uh, the sangria. My sangria. <laughs> look at the sangria. Let's try it out. That is a fresh a fruit cocktail. Um, pineapple, orange, looks like it has watermelon, 
And I don't know, but what is this green thing? Like cucumber? Or kiwi, maybe. It's an apple. <laughs> well, yeah. Nice little cup of fresh fruit. Papaya. Oop. Good stuff, though, huh? It is. It is nice and refreshing. And uh, it's a great combination. You could have some ice cream and have some fruit. It's a good way to end this lunch. A little wrap up of the Lucky Nugget. That was a good meal. It was. Mm -hmm. I tried the uh, the burger. Right. And I'm not quite used to the arugula, so I think I like the fish and chips better than the burger. I like the burger. I love the arugula. The fish and chips were good. Mm -hmm. uh, the fish is a very good hearty fish. It was. Very good. Just with lemon. It didn't need anything else. Um, the fruit salad, which was interesting, is they had pits, pits. They had pieces of grapefruit, so it's a little bit on that tart yeah. side and the sweet side. I thought it was watermelon, but it's actually like ruby red grapefruit. Mm -hmm, grapefruit, and it had something else that was a bit tart in there too. So it's not extremely sweet as we're used to our like fruit cocktails and things right. like that. This one had a little bit on the tart side. Yes. So yes. now we're gonna go look around in some stores over here and maybe get one more dessert before we go, huh, babe? Maybe, uh, maybe stop by the other park yes. a little bit. Got my souvenir, my pie eye Mickey, little, little ski cap. What do they call it? Bill Beanie cap. Beanie. Yeah. I like the color. What do you think? It looks good, babe. Right? It. Now it's gonna keep my my grape warm as we walk in this cold Paris day. Let's go. Short distance from Disneyland is the Walt Disney Studios, which is their second park. Uh, I would say it's just as short as California Adventure, but I think actually it's sh probably shorter. Yeah, so, so yeah. here we go. Let's check it out. Okay, first of all, look at this cute little bag. It says Disneyland Paris on there. Seen eyeball there. This is a group cookie. Now we haven't been at Adventure Campus in a while. And right. here at the Walt Disney Studios, they have your Adventure Campus, they have the Ratatouille ride, and they have the Toy Story rides. And we're gonna go walk over and look this really cool Toy Story ride. We're gonna go film it for you guys. It's pretty cool. But while we're here, we gotta try something. Wow, so look we at have that. It's group. The Raspberry Group Cookie. Here we go, baby. Okay. Dry? Looks dry. No, it's okay. It's oh. like a uh, mm -hmm. kind of a sugar kind of uh, cookie. Mm -hmm. Kind of crumbly. Raspberry farm. Kind With of. The raspberry in the middle, but this one has more raspberry. Yeah. It's not bad. No, it's good. It has good raspberry flavoring and the cookie kind of, isn't dry. Kind of like a shortbread a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go walk over and see that ride. But look at these big roots in the window. Yeah, it's funny. It's big. What's really cool is these tiles in the ground, mm -hmm. some of them light up. So we're all different colors, kind of blue, turquoise, it's all different things. Oh it's yeah. Kind of, kind of cool. I know they really pop at night. Yeah, so. they are. They will. Yes. As we're walking towards the Ratatouille and Toy Story Playland, this is where Arendelle is going to be. From uh, Frozen, From Frozen. Right? Yeah. And that's a crazy ride. Look at these rides. These rides in Toy Story Land, right there. Look at that. Okay, that's a little crazy ride, but their rides are really cool here. Let's go look at them. This is pretty cool. This is called RC Racer. It's like from Toy Story. Toy Story Playland is a uh, ratatouille. And look at they have scalloped potatoes, they have raclette here, they even have some, some uh, salami here. It's cool stuff. It's also cool in the ratatouille area. It's like Christmas market all year round. All the little huts are over here. 
All the way down. Christmas vibe. Mm -hmm. That is a wrap from Disneyland Paris. Now some pro tips we got. Um, I would, I think now before Walt Disney Studios was kind of underdeveloped, now that we're back, it is a lot of stuff to do here. If you are planning a trip here, I would probably recommend one day in Disneyland and one day in uh, Walt Disney Studios. Yeah. What do you think? I, I think that'll do it. In mm -hmm. fact, the next time we come back over here, we want to do a little food tour where Ratatouille is. Right. Where those little Christmas market looking boots. Right. There's a lot of food over there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, so we kind of missed out on that. We did, we did. And there's like two or three Disneyland hotels on this property, this whole property. Uh, this property is about an hour away from the city. Right. It's in Zone 5 if you're taking the train, so make sure you go to Zone 5. But it's about an hour away from the city, so if you're planning to go to the city back and forth, just so if you're going to be staying here, it's about an hour away from the train. That's right. Uh -huh. So yeah. kind of, you know, maybe you can plan accordingly in that sense. Right. Uh, what else? Is that it, baby? I think that was it. One hour, yep. Plant train, zone five. I think that was it, baby. Right. And now we're going to catch on that train and yes. go back to the city because yes. that's where we're staying. So stay tuned for that other vlog. Um, so make sure you catch that one. Yep, I hope you like this Disneyland Paris one. And we kind of rushed through everything, but I know we're really doing this recon trip because we're planning to take our sisters here. Um, either later this year or next year, probably most likely next year. So we yeah. got to kind of remember where, where everything is. And right. luckily the trains didn't change too much. Like, not like in Japan. It was a so successful it was trip. Good. It was good so yes. far. So until our next adventure, we'll catch you guys on the next one.